can always get like a trick to give you some money. <laughs> and welcome back to my channel for today's video is gonna be a get ready with me y'all look i have blue hair oh my god and i just feel like i really wanted to do a get ready with me just because i haven't sat down and talked to y'all in a while and y'all be asking me questions so about some things some topics to talk about so i was like okay i'm gonna just do it today because i have other things on my mind to talk about so might as well you know so before you even get started into this video don't forget to click subscribe and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to turn on that post notification bell because oh bitch is like bitch <laughs> because you don't want to miss out on any more of my videos i have so much in store for this season for this fall because i'm going out with this year with a bang so you don't want to miss out so make sure that notification bell is on so yeah i'm just gonna get ready to go out tonight i'm not doing anything major just going out to eat have a little drink but i do want to get cute dressed up because my hair is done so i'm just about to get ready i'm about to set y'all over here because the lighting is different this way and i gotta set y'all down so and there's more room on my desk over there so let's just get started into this get ready with me. Okay, so i already prepped my face so i'm about to set my primer and I'm gonna use the Tatcha, the silk canvas. I think I mentioned this before already. I'm gonna put something else on just cause this Matchbox photo finish just because I wanna use it and it's good. <laughs> um, it's, it's starting to get cold here y'all and it's really sucking the fucking energy out of me. Like, it really is like, and this city is already slow. So it's draining the fuck out of me. Like it's so. I thought I seen something out the window. Y'all know it's Halloween season, so it's a lot of crazy motherfuckers out there. But um, yeah, it's been really sucking. This weather has been really sucking the energy out of me, and it's just like I don't know. The it's making me be into a like a funk stuff like that. I have all these videos written down, and it's just like I'd have to find the energy to fucking do them. Okay, so y'all been um, asking me how do I save money to like, you know, do enhancements and stuff like that and get my hair done, nails done all the time. Y'all, I budget myself. I was really bad with money. Like, y'all ask me all the time, how do you save money, da da da. Y'all, like, I have a whole separate account that I put like majority of my income in which is like youtube and sponsorships it all goes into a separate account i don't touch it at all and y'all know i have my part-time job so my part-time job is like my spending money like it's literally chump change compared to what i make on here um and that's just like you know gas food just to daily live and i like budget myself i love chopping but i limit myself or whatever um i was really bad with money when i first like even before this um before i start like you know being like business savvy um i was really bad i was like spending money and i was like going through it and spending money makes me happy i know <laughs> i know i'm a shopaholic like i can go fucking crazy i always see something i like it's never not something i don't want i don't need it but i definitely want it but as i got older i'm like i need to start saving money i need a cushion da 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 and then youtube came around whatever i was like i want to save all my money i want to get a new car i want to move to atlanta i want a house blah 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 like so you know you have to prioritize you have to write down what you want in life you can't just be buying shit or whatever no there's an end goal to what you're saving your money for and stuff like that so that'll motivate you more to save the money and not spend it because you know when people go out they'll be like uh i don't want to spend money because i'm trying to get a new car blah blah blah. i'm trying to get this that and a third so have like an end goal to why you're saving money because that's gonna motivate you to save your money you know what i'm saying so yeah and also you can always get like a little you know a little trick to give you some money Period! What? no i'm just kidding but yeah you can all i mean it's easier and it's easier when you got a boyfriend that supports you i mean i don't have a boyfriend or stability like that so 
I get my own bag at the same time and I still save my money. So, and that's also another topic that I want to talk about is like, okay, so I get majority of my income from YouTube and stuff like that or whatever in most of the sponsorships but most of my sponsorships are hair companies and the the hair companies i mean don't sleep on them because they'll pay whatever 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 so but i always have to you know stay on top of me getting my hair done all the time because i would be wanting to take breaks but i have to you know make my money at the same time but I also incorporate that a lot in my vlogs now. I don't do like those dedicated like hair videos like some girls do. Um, because they don't get a lot of views or like that's not something people want to watch all the time. And personally I wouldn't if I was subscribed to somebody that you know was always making hair videos blah blah blah. Like that doesn't interest me. But seeing a vlog does like watching a YouTuber that vlogs does so that's what i do i incorporate my installs sponsorships in my vlog so y'all don't just see like an install y'all see like the vlog of what y'all want to see y'all know what i'm saying so let me know in the comment section if that bothers you like me putting in like my installs in my vlogs but it just has to happen because that's how sponsorships work anyways you have to incorporate the mention mention their product in a video any fucking way so Regardless, if it wasn't a hair company, it would be like this other company or whatever. But I don't know. I just feel like it would. Bo it's bothering y'all, but I don't think it's bothering y'all. But it's all in my head. Um, because it wouldn't bother me. But I'm just like, damn. Like I hope this does not bother them. It wouldn't personally bother me if I was like a subscriber to, you know, a girl. But personally, I like switch switching up my hair all the time, anyway. So it's a win-win situation but yeah i don't know it's, it's like different strokes for different folks like those makeup tutorials all the time like i'm not interested in seeing a makeup tutorial like every video like i like to see vlogs personal stuff like how can i learn from this person how can i relate to them you know stuff like that so i just really like to be relatable when it comes to my videos y'all i just be having all these thoughts i really need to sh go get some sage and like um cleanse <laughs> because y'all i really called my, tried to call myself trying to find some sage today at this spice store it was literally like cooking sage i went in it because i called before i was like do y'all got sage she's like yeah we do and then i go in there y'all it's in a fucking jar like to put on some food <laughs> she was like this is like i was like y'all don't have sage to like you know get rid of that negative energy she's like no this stuff is for cooking and i was like so let me um catch up on this because I'm kind of in a rush. Kind of, not really. It's 7.53. I just really want to do my eyebrows really good. So I really feel like I'm really mellow in this um, get ready with me. I think it's, I honestly think it's the fucking weather. I really do. I really do. Like, my eyebrows look stupid. Ugh, I fucking hate doing eyebrows, swear to God. Are y'all dressing up for Halloween? Um, I'm going to be in Atlanta for Halloween weekend, but the weekend before. So I'm not going to be able to dress up, but I don't know if there's anything going on here. Um, I might just get dressed up just to like get cute for Instagram, honestly. Like, it's that fucking boring here, y'all. That's... Ugh. Let me know about down below what's your favorite Summer Walker song. Or whatever, because her album is a vibe, like, it's a vibe. And she used to be a stripper. So, what's crazy is that today, I partly, partially filmed a video y'all will see. Um, I don't know if it'll be before this one, or I might post it after this. But I can't tell y'all just in case. So you better be subscribed to my channel so you don't miss out on the video. Because I really know y'all love like the entertainment stuff. I love the entertainment stuff too. And this idea just came in my head like oh my god like I have to do this. Like, But yeah I'm just really um, 
doing the same old routine i really need to try out a new foundation like i really want to try out the uh what is that armani luminous silk but i use the makeup forever to conceal my under eyes it's the best ever it really like snatches my under eye hey okay, y'all so another thing i wanted to talk about was this is a question for the ladies that have been single a while now including me um like i really feel like okay so y'all know i got far sense me or whatever like whatever but then around whatever woo woo so i'll have conversations with dudes and they'll be like are you ready to be wifey da, da, da. like are you ready to do this blah 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 like are you like what can you bring to the table blah blah and it's just like overwhelming it's an overwhelming conversation because i've been single for so long so it's hard for me to be like yeah i'll be able to do that but i can't do something if you're not allowing me to do it like allowing me to want to do it like i can't commit myself to a man if he's not showing me action for me to want to do that you know what i'm saying i'm not gonna play wifey and you're not treating me as such like a husband like why would i treat you like a wifey and you're not treating me like a wifey like a like i'm supposed to be like that's not gonna make me want to commit that's not gonna make me want to cater to you that's not gonna make me do nothing so it's just like an overwhelming conversation because i've been single for so long and i i know my self-worth so i can't just hop up and be like oh yeah i'm gonna do i'm gonna do this i'm gonna cook i'm gonna clean i'm gonna throw it down you know events that is on jody but it's just like i've been single for so long i know my self-worth like am i ready to do that like i don't know like i don't know it's like i want somebody but then it's just like ugh, like it's so it takes so much energy out of you but i can't like say that yet because um of course you're you'll meet somebody that is worth the waste of energy you know but it's just like do i take that risk <laughs> of trying to get to know this person like i don't know i don't know i'm just scared nervous all in one i just have mixed emotions with you know dating and shit again so let me know like when if you're single for a long time and dudes come up to you like that like what are your thoughts like are you scared to commit again and stuff like that like because i asked my friend the other day she's like girl what are you talking about <laughs> well she knew what i was getting at but some girls like it's easy for them like they haven't been out of a relationship for so long like me i've been out for like i think like almost two years now so and a lot of girls like okay they'll break up with their man but then they'll get a whole new one so it's not like they're like you know getting to know themselves or whatever it's like they're not relationship hopping but i don't know they're ready for a relationship sooner than other people like me that's just something that's been going through my mind y'all look what i did to my nails today i did some tacky shit focus this is what I did to my nails today, y'all. I got Louis Vuitton. I wanted something like nude, but like fallish. But I wanted a design, but I didn't know <laughs> what to get. She asked me to do cheetah at first, but then I'm like, eh, no. Then I was like, let's just do this. So I'm just gonna use this new Morphe palette I got. And I'm just gonna use these, these colors. This one, this one, this one. I'm a neutral eyelid type of girl. I'm not really a colored girl, even though I really want to use this blue, but I'm going to use it when I have black hair in because it won't go right with this. Because of how she played the game earlier. Hey, hey, I see myself. When we were little, Kim would joke about being famous. So I'm going to contour with this new palette, the True Compassion Contour Palette. I've been wanting this palette for so long and my friend got it for me. Larissa, thank you so much. I've been wanting this for so long. I can never find it in the stores by Black Radiance. And this is the beautiful colors. I just feel like this just matches with my skin so, so good. So we're going to see how this works today. This reminds me of the Gimme Sun by MAC. And I do use that. So... Sparked her vision of a brand new path to fame. 
I'm gonna put my lashes on real quick and I'm gonna come right back. Ugh. Ha. Okay, y'all, lashes are on. I think after this, my lash extensions are on. Top of this, I'm, I mean, I'm gonna keep getting volume, but I'm not, I'm only, I only got lashes on top of this because um, I need a fill. And my full set isn't until like, not next week, but the week after. And I think I just want to do like more like neutral, natural looking lashes. Like, I don't know. It brings out your like natural beauty. I don't know. It just gives you a whole different look. So, yeah, but for now, I'm going to wear these. So, but I'm going to put on blush right now. This is my favorite blush, blush palette. It's the Morphe Trio and the Trio de Blush. So, and yeah, I just go crazy with the blush. And yes, I do put blush on my nose. I love it so much. I love how it looks. Try it if you haven't done it yet. Just like went out. I remember I like fell to the floor. Kim's nightmare in Paris. There were skeptics who suspected the robbery was thought that she was forced your beds and then be surprised. So I put my hair into these two like buns to do like a heatless wave look so we're gonna see i think i might straighten it honestly i don't know i look like a fucking character <laughs> i look like this. i look like a fucking mermaid oh i can't I like it like this like back okay y'all so this is how I decided to do my hair I like it better straightened personally and I'm about to get dressed I'm about to put this cute little outfit together I'm gonna see how it looks first and then I'm gonna come back and show y'all real quick so yeah I'm really feeling how I look right now it's super cute I was a little nervous when in, like the curls is like not cute but it's cute right now with my hair straightened. I like, I think I like colored hair better straightened. But anyways, let me put my clothes on real quick and I'm gonna come back and show right, you that. So I just wanted to close out the video. So this is the fit. I just have on this chain gold choker from Nemi Glow, my rings and my watch and my bracelet and then to accessorize the outfit. And then I just got on this bodysuit from Zara and then my Louis Vuitton. And then these leather pants is, are from, where are these from? Oh, Honey Bum. I'm gonna do a haul with them, so don't worry. And then these shoes remind me of Kim Kardashian. That's why I got them. So, and I got them off Fashion Nova like a couple months ago, so. So yeah, that's the fit. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I love y'all so much. And stay tuned for the next video. Bye.